Hey everybody, here I am in my Windows 95 virtual machine. Since my last video where I talked about the Microsoft Plus for 95 pack, why not do one for the Plus for Kids? So if you're wondering what version of Windows 95 I'm using, I'm using Windows 95 OSR 2.5, which is version C. So with that being said, let's do it, give you a little brief explanation of what Microsoft Plus for Kids is. It's basically a plus pack for kids with kid games and mainly designed for younger computer users at a at a, at a younger age. So let's look at the README real quick and so we can we all know that the plus for kids pack was released sometime in 1997. But one unique thing though that Plus for Kids come with is some desktop themes of course and some unique some neat screen savers as well as you get your you got it I know with plus ninety five and the plus for kids pack requires system agent to use the desktop themes and screen savers. But what's so unique is that the Plus for Kids pack actually works with Windows NT 4.0, but unfortunately, with Windows NT 4.0, you won't be able to use, you, you have to do a custom install because desktop themes apparently doesn't work with the Plus for Kids pack. Even if you install the desktop themes from the resource kit, because Windows NT 4.0, it's kind of broken with depth all well, the icon usually when you're changing the icons from one theme to the other with the desktop themes and windows and t4.0 it's kind of broken i can see why microsoft don't want you to install desktop themes in windows and t4.0 even though it's hidden in windows 2000 which it's not even though Windows 2000 would have probably had themes at one point during its development. But we see, we got some unique programs too we're going to look at it. Like the paint it, protect it, play it. Even though this version of Microsoft Plus, well this pack of, this Plus for Kids pack apparently comes with Internet Explorer 3.01, which we won't be able to look at Internet Explorer 3. You probably know what Internet Explorer 3 looks like. Because I got Internet Explorer 5.5. And plus, you'll need to be logged into an admin account to install Plus for Kids in Windows NT 4.0. The only thing that doesn't really work in Windows NT 4.0 for the from the Plus for Kids pack is the protected and the desktop themes. Due to its design differences, which we can we can really get what Microsoft is telling us about their design difference. So, with that being said, let's explore some of the pre-bundled software that comes with it. And you still get the uh, Plus for 95 boot screen from the Microsoft Plus 95 pack when you install Plus for Kids. So let's take a look at the desktop themes. You get some additional new themes like the baseball theme, which, and you also got the. Let's, the jungle theme, of course. And you got the space theme, as well as the underwater theme. And these four themes were actually reintroduced in Windows 98 at one point when Microsoft started the development of Windows 98 being the first operating system to come with desktop themes. 
all the themes from Plus for Kids and the four, all I mean them all the four the, those four themes from the Plus for Kids baseball space jungle and underwater and all the themes from the Plus for Windows ninety five pack became included in the, to Windows ninety eight even though they rebranded majority of the built in themes as Windows ninety eight instead of Windows ninety five. Even though Plus for not, Windows 98 had its own Plus pack, which introduced a revised version of desktop themes that allow you to change themes monthly, support changing the My Documents icon, as well as gradient having the ability to change the gradient title bars. And we all should know what. With some of these themes that Windows 95 Plus for Kids come with, I got a video, a separate video showing the startup and shutdown sounds. And this one also comes with a revised version of the desktop themes, so you can still install Plus for Kids over the uh, original Plus for 95 pack, but what you have to do is import the Plus for Kids themes or the Plus for Windows 95 themes into one folder for the default directory where you I mainly use it in the C plus C program files plus themes directory so everything can function real smooth or you can just copy it to the Plus for Kids theme folder in the, the Plus the themes folder in the Plus for Kids folder So everything could function properly. But if you're going to use desktop themes, I do not recommend using the Windows desktop update. Well, if you have desktop update installed in 95 OS R 2.5, you can easily remove it. So let's look at some other programs that come with Plus for Kids. You got your Paint It program. This is kind of like a, a generic version, of, almost like a generic version of Kid Picks. Oops. Undo what you just did. Cut. Cut what you selected and copy. Copy what you selected. Paste. Paste what's a print. Print your pick eraser. You get the whole idea of what this. So with that being said, let's look at another Plus for Kids program. Pic picture Picker. Which you get different multiple categories. Be mindful that little buzzing sound is because of the MIDI driver. Because I'm using this in a virtual machine. So let's take a look at Play It. This is like a digital keyboard of. So let's get on out of here. Show you.
because if the uh, MIDI driver was fully working, I would be able to fully demonstrate without that buzzing. So let's see, we're gonna probably gonna have to restart. Might gonna have to restart just to demonstrate this program though. So click yeah. some kind of little issue with Windows networking but next I agree so what you can do is you can restrict certain programs and restrict Kit like kids from accessing certain files or settings on the computer. So we're gonna, so we get the point. So we're not gonna enable that. So we're going to basically return to Windows. So another unique thing about Plus for Kids, you even got a little text-to-speech program called Talk It. Hello, this is a test using Windows 95 and VMware Fusion with the Plus for Kids Pack. And of course you could change the voice. Hello, this is a test using Windows 95 and VMware Fusion with the Plus for Kids Pack. Hello, this is a test using Windows 95 and VMware Fusion with the Plus for Kids Pack. You can get some little cool, unique little tools that kids can use on the computer. So you get the whole point of what Plus for Kids and when with Microsoft Plus for Kids, the uh, Plus for Kids pack have to offer. So with that being said, I'm gonna end the video right here, and hope you guys enjoyed that little video. And thanks for watching.